something that should have never gone this far. But after all, it's what we've done makes us what we are. And you've been talking in silence. Can we tone it down a little bit? Can we, can we tone it down a little bit? Let me just... Uh, so, so welcome. We have right now two uh, viewers, one viewer, and uh, increasing. So we'll be doing this, uh, archiving this recording, uh, this uh, Facebook Live. My name is Constantine, and producer of the Canaphone Audio Show and publisher of the GoGo. -Go. And with me, next to me is Joe Hakim. Hi, welcome. <laughs> the dealership Icon Audio. Uh, the owner of uh, Eigen Audio Dealership and will be at the show uh, this year. Yes, exhibiting with uh, Von Schweikert speakers and mm -hmm. master built cables and um, also CMS uh, rack. Great. Yeah. yeah. So right now what we're doing is uh, we're paying a visit to uh, his beautiful uh, in-home show dealership. And uh, you were just looking at the, uh, the Koatsu cartridge. It was the, the Blue Lace? Blue Lace Platinum, yes. All righty. Okay, so I'm going to change the, uh, the angle. It's a very nice turntable. It's an ex exclusive P10, as you know. Exclusive was uh, a special branch for Pioneer back in the 80s. Uh, these are still highly sought after. And the speakers are the Von Schweiger, the VR55 Active. Yes. Uh, meaning that uh, these are the active speakers with the active subwoofer, am I correct? That's correct. They have uh, 500 watt Class D plate amps built in, driving the woofers from uh, Channel Islands uh, Audio. Mm -hmm. And uh, three way design with rear ambience ribbon tweeter and uh, Accuton ceramic mid-range and woofers and uh, beryllium dome, uh, coated beryllium dome tweeter. So they're bi-wired currently with uh, master built ultra speaker cables. I believe the MSRP is 60,000 for the actives, mm -hmm. uh, a little less for if you get the passive version. Mm -hmm. uh, I do recommend the active, uh, as we discussed earlier, the tunability is uh, quite nice in terms of adjusting the bass levels and tuning for your room, mm -hmm. especially like in this room where you have an asymmetric loading. Mm -hmm. I understand that this room actually is tuned by Bob Holder's acoustic analysis? Yes, Bob came down uh, mm -hmm. and uh, did the whole analysis and the recommendations. I got the broadband absorber panels through him, uh, also the still point apertures for the first reflection points. Mm -hmm. And um, no, the response in the room turned out quite nice. I was very happy with uh, his work. And uh, Rob, thank you for your comment. We're also looking forward to the show. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about a little bit about the uh, uh, Schweiker speakers. Yes, yeah, so the VR55s um, kind of sit in the middle of the range. Uh, very dynamic, very transparent. The ceramic uh, cone woofers in mid-range um, are very, very fast, very stiff and lightweight. Uh, and the beryllium, the coated beryllium dome tweeters, uh, to my ears, are one of the most natural sounding tweeters I've heard. And not like most beryllium dome tweeters. The dispersion characteristics of the natural and the design uh, are also such that it makes these speakers very easy to integrate in the room. Uh, the sweet spot's rather wide. 
Uh, and the sound stage is phenomenal. The speakers are extremely coherent. Uh, all the drivers are time aligned. Uh, Albert's uh, Von Schweiker crossovers are uh, a very controlled phase for good coherency. And I think you'll find, in terms of a three way design, they're very well integrated top to bottom uh, in terms of frequency response. In the rear, Ambience tweeter is a ribbon, and that helps fill out the sound stage. And again, uh, the ribbon, the level of the ambient tweeter is adjustable. Uh, you'll see the two knobs at the bottom of the plate there. Uh, one controls the woofer level, one controls the rear ambience tweeter. And what's interesting about the uh, active bass amp here is it actually takes the, uh, your main amp output level. It's not a line level input. Mm -hmm. So basically, it gives you the characteristics of your main amplifiers basically get reflected into your bass. So you get a very cohesive sound. You're not, it's not really bi-amped in the traditional way. Um, mm -hmm. So we're playing some Jim Croce here. Um, yeah, this turntable for being, what, about 37 years old is it's pretty phenomenal, stock tone arm. Uh, I bought this as a backup table, and uh, I'm waiting for a new turntable to arrive, uh, hopefully the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, putting this thing in, into duty. So which turntable are you waiting for? It's uh, Artisan Fidelity, the uh, uh, Techniques SP um, mm -hmm. 10 Mark III, mm -hmm. his uh, NGS platform. Uh, which is uh, the ultimate of his turntables, um, Christopher Thornton over at Artists and Fidelity, and uh, that should be a very nice addition here, I think. Nice. We also want to remind your viewers that even though you have Ypsilon Electronics, but um, you are not a dealership. I'm not a dealer, uh, I'm mm -hmm. a fan, um, okay. but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I... Uh, I definitely like the electronics, okay. and I have the YPS uh, Phono Stage, the YPS 100, mm -hmm. uh, Mike Fremer's uh, personal reference uh, uh, Phono Stage mm -hmm. with the outboard uh, MC16L uh, step-up transformer. So, um, master build cables, of course. Mm -hmm. Master build ultra. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the power cables are master built ultra summer reference mm -hmm. and then for the plate amps I'm um, using a different set because I ran out <laughs> of uh, uh, Kubala Sasna's uh, uh, power cables mm -hmm. so uh, and then to round out the, the equipment um, an EMM Labs uh, DAC 2X with uh, the V2 firmware uh, upgrade mm -hmm. hardware and firmware Fed by an render A10 uh, server or streamer. Mm -hmm. And you also have a very really sizable record collection as well. Yeah, I've, uh, I've collected a lot of original pressings or, or you know, hopefully uh, uh, good, good pressings. And I think mm -hmm. uh, uh, I've got some really interesting titles. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I mentioned, I also have the entire Music Matters catalog of the 45 RPM reissues, mm -hmm. uh, jazz collection. Uh, I have more upstairs. These are the ones I, that I have in rotation right now. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I mostly listen to vinyl. Uh, though I got the DAC 2X recently with the V2 upgrade, and I have to say it sounds very nice. Uh, so I'm, I'm listening more to digital, which is a new thing for me. Now, before we begin this um, Facebook Live video, you were talking about the uh, Von Schweikert's cabinet construction techniques. Yes, so these incorporate, as do all the modern Von Schweikert's, the uh, triple uh, wall construction, mm -hmm. which is this composite resin material uh, to which he bonds a, a very inert uh, stone-like uh, slab material mm -hmm. using uh, an extremely powerful adhesive. Um, and then there's a, a, a third layer of an acoustic absorbing material to handle internal reflections. Um, the woofer enclosure is a hybrid transmission line ported uh, design. Though there's a port in the rear, mm -hmm. uh, you'll note there's no real air uh, or, or you know, port 
brush coming out of them because um, they just talk to the chamber. They're not really a uh, standard ported enclosure design. Mm -hmm. uh, the woofer, uh, the uh, lid, and tweeter. Uh, in part of the enclosure is, is separated from the woofers. Uh, I know Von Schweiker, uh, in speaking to Albert, uh, they did a huge amount of work in tuning the system for both, of course, uh, resonances, cabinet resonances, and these things are about as inert acoustically as you'll find. But also, you have the internal reflections from the drivers that you have to deal with. So, mm -hmm. creating a system to absorb those and minimize the, the self-interference from back reflections or internal reflections. Um, and what you'll find is these speakers are extremely transparent, very dynamic, um, though they don't sound fast or aggressive like some speakers do. Uh, I think they have a very natural presentation. They sound like whatever you put into them. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I know Albert's goal for this design was to get the distortion down to, you know, what you would experience with electrostat or planar speakers, uh, mm -hmm. less than half a percent. I mean, typically those types of speakers get down to 0.1%. Mm -hmm. Hard to approach with a cone driver, mm -hmm. but at, at sort of reasonable listening volumes, under mm -hmm. half a percent. And I think that that shows in the natural presentation, as I describe it, very, very low distortion mm -hmm. and uh, very good bass. I think another attribute of Von Schweikert's speakers is uh, the performance of the bass, uh, very taut, uh, very articulate, uh, not over taut, uh, but never, you know, never gloomy, never, never bloated. And uh, we can play some things here that can highlight the bass response too. Um, he also, in order to, to e improve the integration of the three-way design, he typically uh, extends his mid-range driver frequency fairly low, lower than you would see in most three-way designs. Um, and that helps really with the integration so the crossover can be more relaxed and introduce less phase distortion. And that helps with, as I mentioned, the coherency and uh, the, the top to bottom integration of the three-way driver. I can't wait to hear them. And uh, but that means we have to turn off the Facebook Live. Now, now just before we go, just want to make sure that this is an in-home dealership and of course a welcome yes. inquiries. Yes, uh, I run Eigen Audio dealership, relatively new in the Bay Area here, but uh, I cover the, the greater Bay Area region for uh, Von Schweikert speakers, master built audio cables, mm -hmm. and uh, CMS racks. Uh, I am in discussions with a couple of electronics manufacturers to, uh, to carry some electronics lines as well. I'm also in a render dealer, so anyone interested in render uh, servers and products, there's an A10 down here. Uh, which is uh, essentially an N100 with an integrated DAC. And uh, mm -hmm. it's actually a, a very nice unit for someone that wants a very easy to set up and deploy uh, digital streaming platform. Mm -hmm. um, analog outputs, uh, balanced and unbalanced, and uh, actually quite a nice DAC. So for 5,500 bucks, you've got uh, a complete digital streamer solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's got also the, the volume control. You could go even without a preamp and drive your, your, your amps uh, directly out of this unit. Mm -hmm. So, so if, uh, for the attendees interested uh, in listening, uh, how, they can, how can they contact you? Yes, they can contact me through my website, uh, www.eigenaudio.com. Uh, and send me an email or just uh, my email is joe at eigenaudio.com very easy to remember mm -hmm. uh, my contact details are on the website Great. and uh, yeah I'd be happy to host anyone I also mm -hmm. uh, I have a set of demo cables and equipment so I can actually bring things to your home uh, I, I feel for cables especially it's, it's almost impossible to determine the quality of a cable when you hear it in you know, some completely <laughs> different system at a trade show or wherever, uh, I think for cables especially, you need to hear them in your own system. Mm -hmm. uh, I really believe in system synergy, and so uh, anyone interested in master-built cables uh, carry the entire line. Uh, I do have in-home demo units that you can try for a week or two, mm -hmm. and uh, even you know on the speaker side, I've got a pair of the Von Schweikert Unifield 
uh, two Mark III's there that I'm actually uh, taking to a person in San Francisco who wants enough uh, a demo of those. Mm -hmm. So even the smaller speakers I can uh, bring to your home for uh, an in-home demo, or you're welcome to come out here and mm -hmm. uh, listen to uh, my systems. Great, so. great. And uh, I can all you also be at the show. Yes, absolutely. They're looking very much forward to the show. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my market, my, my area, and uh, I really am interested in uh, promoting high-end audio. And uh, we're going to have a relatively affordable system, the Von Schweikler E3 Mark IIs, which are you know, very well-reviewed, uh, $8,000 retail. And I think uh, at that price point, uh, these will compete with speakers, you know, up to uh, 20K range, uh, I find. Very nice. uh, they've won several best of shows, and uh, I will show um, hopefully a, what I call a mid-tier system. I wouldn't call it entry level, but mm -hmm. uh, really try to bring out the performance of these speakers. And uh, they're also uh, quite a nice size in terms of integrating into an environment. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a pair in the other room uh, we can go look at. And, yeah, sure. And let's, to... let's go take a look before okay. we conclude this uh, video. You will notice it's a very nice hardwood floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So these are the E3 Mark IIs. I'll take the... Um... Mm -hmm. And these are the pairs that we at the show. Yes. So they're in a the gloss black finish. Uh, these are a little bit more than the uh, AK retail in this finish, but uh, also a three-way design. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think stunning performance at this price point, uh, quite phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And the size, as you see in this room, make them pretty easy to, uh, to integrate. Very nice view, too. Yeah, it's a bit overcast today, unfortunately. Uh, normally, you can see clear out uh, across the Monterey Bay to, uh, to the Monterey uh, mm -hmm. side of the bay. So where is the boardwalk in proximate direction? Is it this uh, way or that it's, way? It's, it's more... To that to that direction to the north. Okay. Straight out as you're looking is uh, Capitola. Capitola. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've been there. Nice little town. Very nice. So excuse the yard. We're getting uh, some landscape work done, so it's all tore up. But, uh, yeah. All right. So with this, uh, we're gonna conclude the Facebook Live. Thank you very much for joining us, and be sure to visit www.eigenaudio.com. That's E I G N A U D I O. And uh, if you're interested in coming here, actually to listen to this music and just taking this beautiful landscape, just contact Joe Hakim, and uh, information is on the website. Yep, and Joe uh, at audio, uh, eigenaudio.com, you can yes. email me as well. Yeah, and with that, I'm going to listen to some music, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.